we're making a podcast. Well, shall I say making a podcast? We're doing a podcast because that's what we do. Sean Land, if you're not watching it, take a seat. I don't know what you are watching. <laughs> so we've got Tom Smith today. He's a billionaire and he's from Ireland. I don't know how good my Irish accent is, but I like to have a little go, you know? I remember I used to have this um, guy who used to come to the shop and his name was Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole and he used to talk a little bit like that and he used to do all the plastering at some of my dad's, my father's prior. But yeah, this guy is an amazing guy. He's a mentor. He does some development projects. He's partnering up with everybody. He's got um, a movie coming out with Terry Stone and Terry Stone is the guy who actually referred me to Tom Smith and Terry Stone's already been on the podcast and yeah it's all about your network so when you speak to one person you always ask them for one little gift so on my on my podcast I always say hey do you think there's one more person that you could refer me to and that's how we got in touch with Tom Smith and we'll ask the same question to Tom Smith so if you stay tuned to the end of this vlog we're gonna tell you which other top guests we're gonna have on from this so you know that that's what it's all about it's just creating a link creating a chain creating a web but Tom Smith is actually a proper legend because he's a TED talking speaker I'm gonna introduce it like this here's his behind the scenes is like for every hand you shake for every conversation you have it's more money you make no it didn't go like that next time you talk to me like that i'll hurt you <laughs> for every hand you shake for every telephone call you make the more cash you make that's what he says so i'm gonna announce him like that he's a motivational inspirational sort of speaker so he likes to be on stages so it's all about you know delving in his mind what we like to get out of the podcast however is how does his mind work i believe it's not about motivation is about discipline motivation is the thing that goes on top of discipline you have to be disciplined to follow your schedule and do it the motivation pushes you to how hard you're going to work in that sort of discipline that you've put yourself into and that's what i really want to ask him is what is discipline and how do you create discipline because a lot of us are not disciplined we we, we like to set new year's resolutions we like to talk about what we're going to do in the new year or we like to get a new gym membership and saying yeah i'm going to join the gym now but what stops us from being consistent how do we discipline ourselves what can we do what rooms can we be in what can we listen to what affirmations can we be listening to how do we become more disciplined and that's what i'd love to get at this podcast so you're uh, enjoying the journey it's the most important thing is to enjoy the journey if you don't enjoy what you do then it feels like a chore doesn't it you can't do things like a chore so why wouldn't you wake up earlier to work on what you love doing i love sleeping also i like getting my eight hours of sleep if i don't get my sleep and you know, I'm not one of these people who go to bed at nine o'clock. I went to bed at half past 10, 11 o'clock last night. So that means to get my eight hours sleep, I need to get up at seven o'clock and I need that. I really do because when I don't sleep my full seven, eight hours, I don't even have any energy in the gym because the mental strength that you need to run a business and all these little side hustles it just drains you so you need to have like a system reboot like do you know when you press the off button on a on a computer and it goes Choo! and then you can hear it cooling down with the fan and then when you turn it on in the morning it's like did it everything's all flickering it's all reset itself if there's ever been a glitch or something and then it's like vroom, ready for the day you know the computer performs good right that's how i see it like you've got to reset that system and that's for me now as i get older and my purpose becomes different i can see myself getting up earlier and going to bed earlier also at this age before my 40s i don't think i want to be going to bed nine o'clock because i feel that i'm missing a little bit of the world you know i feel like i should be awake i have the energy right now later i won't have that energy but i think i'll have the energy to wake up earlier so i'd like to go to bed eight or nine o'clock and then get up four or five o'clock in the morning to see sunrise and appreciate more of them sort of things because i i think my life will be a lot more calmer back then, in front then you know that's, that's how I think I, I see life. So I'm just doing it the way I'm writing the book. If it feels good with me, that's how exactly I'm gonna write it. If it doesn't feel good with you, don't write your book that way. You're, in, you're the controller. You do it how you want to do it, but just make sure it's productive the way you're doing it. Damn, preach. Amen. Now it's the dreaded four flights of steps. This is where I don't need the Stairmaster anymore in the gym. It's like, yeah, my quads and hamstrings are getting done right now. I'm telling you, floor one. Let's go. Hoi there, Mr. Tom Smith. 
It's great to see you there. So the more hands you shake, the more chords you make, the more money you make. If motivation and discipline was a person, well, he's here in the studios right now. I welcome Mr. Tom Smith. And I'm gonna say it like Grand Cardone does. Cause he's Grand Cardone's friend, yo. The 10X billionaire. This gym done, mate. Now you know why uh, I'm so hench, innit? That's why a man's hench. I call, I call, Morgan's coming. Here's the lovely Morgan. Morgan, give us a wave. We are vlogging today. Are you We're just vlogging the journey. Guys, I'm Okay, same. I promise you I'm going to it. <laughs> One eternity later. 100% better. Mate, I just like, put like one of them fuel tankers. You know when they go to the petrol station, they have to reload it. That's what I have to do for the toilets, you know? I'm saving the planet, man. I'm providing water. And welcome to the studio, guys. Check it out. Oh, man, there's no logo. Oh, shall I give a take of the seat logo today? Should we try that? The real question is, should we give him a cap? Mm. But you know what? The more richer you are, the more it's very hard for you to accept a gift. And when somebody shows you that, it's yeah. like, how many billionaires get a gift? You expect to go to the yacht, have a good time. You expect to have some drinks and go, oh, thank you, we're at this billionaire's party. And you do get that thank you, you do get that little, I was on social media with this guy. But when does that person ever get a gift? That's what I wanna know. It's very rare. So if you're that person to give them that gift, you're very memorable. They might look and go, wow, somebody gave me that. Like that means more. The free stuff means more than the paid stuff because when you can buy everything, the reason why I also say this is because when I go somebody, somewhere, I always get a free doggy bag. And if I get free stuff or like one of my guests, Asim came two, three podcasts ago and he bought these little Lego sets and he ordered some and sent some to my house. So I looked at it and I'm, I'm really appreciating that more than the 50 pound Lego set that requires you to be an engineer. And that free one, the special bespoke one that he's given, it's worth so much more. So let's see if it works. You got it. I'm good, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're walking in. You tell me. He comes out private jets, nice cars. So we should walk in, um, but he's quite a fit, stocky, aesthetic guy as well. So I don't know. What can we do? Make I don't. Make him couches. <laughs> <laughs> make him <make> couches. <laughs> no, no. Bench pressing it. No. Do you know uh, what? I had a good idea. Uh, imagine that, right? On a private jet, right? No, no, hear me out. It's going to happen. Take a seat, private jet. Yeah. But it's like, you know, on A line is like, please take a seat. Yeah. It's like, you're gonna have a podcast oh, in wow. a jet. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it, look, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, but that's not private what we live by. Three hours later. So, what happened? What's happening right now? He's late. And uh, that doesn't happen often. Actually, another big star was a little bit late, but we still got an hour and 15 minutes from him. But today's guest is actually needing to leave earlier. So we already changed the time one hour before as well. And also they've got 15 minutes, like they need to leave before this time as well. So I have to physically pay for two hours. It's not about money, but it's just about respecting, you know, respecting someone's time. And he's actually half an hour late right now. And yeah, we might just about, well, if he's here at one o'clock and he needs to get gone by 45 minutes, we're only gonna get 45 minutes from a two hour booking. So it doesn't really seem fair, but I think sometimes it comes part of the job and these things do happen. But you know, how do I deal with that? So this, this shows my test of strength right now. I could be really angry right now. I could be seeing failure. I could be feeling upset, but no, no. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm allowing these thoughts to happen and they're moving away. It's happened now. It's water, spilled, gone, done. Let's just get on with it. Whatever time he's here for, but let's compact it and let's make it the best podcast we can. Let's go. What's the new motto? Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 the new, the new motto. Oh, uh, the, the richer you are, the more calls you make, the billionaire you get, the later you get. <laughs> <laughs> if motivation and inspiration, discipline was a person, then I've got him right here. His mantra is, the more hands you shake, the more phone calls you make, the more cash you make. Welcome to the show, Tom Smith. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Great to see you, bro. 
Yeah, you come all the way from Ireland, is that right? <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what you're doing at the moment. I know after this, you're going to be going to do some voiceovers, is that right? For a movie that you've been shooting? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> If discipline and motivation was a person, then I've got him here in a room. They say, well, actually, he says, the more handshakes you make, the more calls you make, the more money you make. Let's welcome Tom Smith. What's up, my How's brother? it going? Yeah, really good. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> How's thank it you, going, thanks man? For, thank you very much for having me. Dream Apartments was born, and then I got Newcastle, Liverpool, Manchester, Dundee, Middlesbrough. We're opening in Bradford. And for anybody out there, if you do want something, it took me a year to get my first yes. You know, it didn't just happen. It took me a year and it fucking worked. But it was a big yes. <laughs> yeah, but how many punches can you take? People might give up so easily. Like I took a year of no's, a year. But it was a making of me, that kid at 10 years old. He was the guy taking the no's. The resilience was born then. Uh, I'm so glad I stuck it out. Yes, yes, you know? yes, I can feel that. So. Serviced apartments, or people who don't understand that, is that taking a property and then making it into like a mini hotel? Uh, if a flight isn't that full, there's times I'll burst out crying. Like, fucking hell, I really miss my kids. You know, people don't see that side of the entrepreneur, they just see some dude who's on jets, in gyms, running stairs. Yeah. Um, if I could, if I could have spent more time with those kids growing up, mm. I definitely would have done. Thank you for staying with us. Our business model is about 80 to 90 percent corporate. We give you the keys, you're staying, it's a home from home living. You've got super fast Wi Fi, you can eat very cheaply because you're cooking. The party's coming on tomorrow. Right. Um, so we've got a whole list. So now I can't just post Monday, I have to post Mondays and Fridays now. So he's working. Could, <laughs> yeah. could you help us out? We need to get a taxi order. Somebody order us a taxi. Uh, <laughs> you'll be stuck in How long do you think it'll be in a taxi? Right, bro. Bro, do they have taxis around here? Thank you so much. See you later, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers, okay, guys. So, uh, how was that? Yeah, it was good. How was it for you? <laughs> It was alright, it was alright. Bro, we got in with the... Uh, we're talking to billionaires now, you know? Like, that's just what we do. It's casual it's, nowadays, it's isn't just it? just on the regs now, you know? Regs it's casual. Boom! That was a great podcast, so let's just say bye to some of the team. See you later, my brother. This is Pep. Pep. Come on. We got Sean because he's coming and giving them epic podcasts every single time. Come on, man. We're trying to pump it up, but amazing studios. And it's not just the podcast studio you do here. You do all the music. Music recording studios and, um, yeah, and the podcast studios as you see. So, some of the people who record here? Um, we've had some, some good names, man. We've had, um, today we dropped, but we've had good names there, man. Check out this is our conflict of interest that came out a, year, a year or two ago. So we recorded there, it's an amazing album. And, yeah, just keep up with us on our Instagram. Big up, man. These guys are amazing. Look, today's uh, appointment is not a normality, but I had to change it one hour early because my client and the staff here are so friendly. They just done that for me. Drop of a hat, not like a charge or something like that on top of it. So they work with people who want to work with them as well. So check them out, guys. See you later, Pep. Love you. Nice one. Let's go, baby. I don't know about you. I'm hungry now. Um, I got a fillet. Whoa, whoa, copyright, 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 copyright. So, yeah. I got a fillet because it's quite soft and I love that tartar sauce. And I also was a little bit greedy because I wanted a chicken sandwich. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna have and wash it down with a Diet Coke. Wait a minute. Do you recognize this McDonald's? Yeah. I actually was working for this McDonald's for like seven or eight years. And I think from the age of 23, 24, I started working here to the age of 30. So um, yeah, man, even after buying all them properties, being a builder, the days off or the days we didn't have work, I'd work here. I need to make sure that I'm paying my mortgages or I'm having a little bit extra money. I really enjoyed working for McDonald's. So yeah, I might even recognize somebody here if you don't know. Marissa? Yes. Yes, Marissa? 
Warm, baby girl. Oh, I yeah, talk to me now. <laughs> Everything cool and crisp. How are you? Me alright, baby girl. I've seen it for ages. I know, it's been a hot minute. How you been? That's how you know I worked here. <laughs> Marissa, I'm telling you, Marissa, I miss her. <laughs> I miss you. Uh, Who's still here? Any now. Is anyone still here? Why is he videoing me? He's videoing me, he's vlogging my day because I was doing a podcast today. I was an oh. influencer, innit? You look right. after me too much. <laughs> Love, yeah? I'll talk to you soon. I weren't lying when I said I just worked here like, you know, a few years ago, mate. Let's bring it back! We're the real... Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, so, look, we've just done a lovely podcast today. It was an absolutely fantastic guest. We were stuck in traffic, but look! We're on the road again, baby. We're on the road, and guess what? We made it. It wasn't as worse as I thought it was going to be. It's saying 46 minutes, and then all of a sudden from that, it jumped to 20 minutes. 10 minutes later. So sometimes we overthink it. It's a lot worse in our head than in reality. So that's it. We're on our way now. I'm, I'm not going to be late for my next meeting. Everything's fine. Everything was okay. Let's always remember to stay present. It's very important too. Make sure you're being productive. Make sure you're learning new things. Make sure you're trying new hobbies, new foods, new courses, whatever it is, just do something new. Write that down and take action. It's all about action. So we've now shown you a speaking event. We've shown you one of the podcast events, but guy, tell us what you want to see because we can make it happen. We got time, money, we got, you know, everything happening here. Like whatever you want to see, we will make it happen. We'll do one especially for you guys. Tell us what you want to see and we'll get it going. And um, we're going to catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment, you know, smash the like button. Tell your friends, family, auntie, everybody need to know about this. Post it on a school poster. Yeah, we want, yeah, that's what we want. We want a whole schools of people coming onto this channel because this is where it's at. Test me on any question you want to test me on. Whether it's in the gym, your side hustles, whether it's about employment, entrepreneurship, taxation, traveling, we've done it all. Even competed on stage, test me. Cause big brother Sean, young unks is here for you. Peace.